the variables, right? So if you'll check here, FBL1N, we have some variables. Okay, this, this, these are the derived documents. Suppose directly we are going to post. Let's say assume that we don't have the MM configuration or let's say MM is not applicable and we are trying to post the transaction in that way how we are going to or from FI how we are going to post the transaction. So I'm just creating one dummy account as purchase account. So if we are going to post a FI entry, two transaction codes are there. One is your general and one is your uh, enjoy. Okay, so here the document type is FI direct FI posting. One second. Direct FI posting for vendor invoice. It is transaction document type is KR, K account type for vendor and KR invoice. And uh, the transaction codes are two transaction codes are there F dash 43 enjoy FB 60. So let me show you first the FB 60 then I will come to this one because this is more user friendly. Accounting financial accounting accounts payable document entry AP60 here we need to select the vendor and here we need to select the GL any particular GL let me create one vendor because already we have one vendor which is with purchase organization I'm just creating one vendor from FI point of view I mean we can use the same vendor let me create one more vendor this time not using the transaction code XK01 I will use the FK01 so that no need to maintain the purchase related data select the group this is the group I think we have created yeah this one also I'm taking the same internal number assignment that means you can see the vendor number internal the moment we will save it we will get the vendor number continue all our general informations general informations these are general information add the reconciliation account sort key vendor number cash management group payment terms is also mandatory right now we don't have leave it Okay, add it. So a new vendor created. Now I'm going to use the same vendor here. Select the vendor. 
difference this vendor and this vendor this is created at purchase organization level so you can do the mm activity by selecting this vendor but here you can't select it for example let's say i will create a purchase order here by selecting the new vendor what i created okay so suppose here i will select this vendor Check the message vendor this one 10490 has not created has not been created for purchase organization this one so now you have to change the vendor but vendor change is now the option we need to extend the vendor to purchase organization level so that means the vendor which is created at the fi level we need to extend it to uh, mm level also select the vendor invoice date so any data I'm taking here amount here also I'm going to use the tax select and select the tax code continue so vendor by default it is going to credit and GL is going to debit account is not tax relevant one second we need to add the tax code so that I forget here add the tax category Select the tax code and add the ledger. So this is your invoice amount, this is your expense amount and this is your tax amount. So what we did earlier, same thing is here also. This is vendor created, expense debited, and input tax also debited. Now post it. We got the document, and this document is also updated in your BKPF, BSEC, and also in BSIK. So now, if you we'll check the document uh, or the payable item, or in BSIK, you will find two open items, or three open items, in fact. Previously, two was there. If you will see here, in BSIK for this company code how many open items are there three I'm not selecting any document just run it three open items are there but you can see what two document types are RE that means it is integrated with MM and this is a direct posting in all case vendor credited and these are the amount okay and also you will get the update in the vendor line item refresh it this is the vendor payable 12,920 another vendor payable 5,000 so total payable 17,920 let me show you the open item list report Now, what is this one? So we can see the company code payable is 17,920 and one GL account 3503 is also payable 7920. 
this 3503 is your reconciliation account now if we'll prepare the balance it we will take this balance to the payable or current liability so if we'll run the GL report 3503 so you can find here all the line items so I told you whatever the transaction you are going to post with subledger in this case it is our uh, different vendors you can see one copy is also there in the reconciliation account so automatically all your debit credit all entries you will find here fine okay what is the difference